All right, everyone, we've made it. It's my final PhD grad visit weekend vlog. And this one, this one's kind of epic. This was the weekend that I did my visit at MIT. For those of you guys who are unaware or if you haven't seen any of my other visit vlogs, a grad visit weekend is something that happens when you're accepted into a certain graduate study program. So for me, I can really only speak to engineering, specifically a chemical engineering PhD program. The school will invite you out for the weekend or for a few days so that you can experience the campus, the students, you can talk with the faculty, see the lab spaces and campus as a whole. So you can ultimately come to a decision as to what grad school is gonna be the best place for you. So I've previously visited and I have vlogs for all of these out on my channel, BU, Northeastern, The Ohio State, Vanderbilt, and this is my final one, MIT. Now, yes, this is me after the fact because this visit was a little bit different. I didn't really have a lot of downtime or time alone to really explain what was going on in the moment. I didn't wanna interrupt anybody else's weekend by like whipping out a camera and, and talking and explaining things. And I also had a roommate this time in my hotel. So I, again, really didn't have a lot of time to myself to sit down with y'all and explain what was going on. So that's why we're here. It's all good, we're here after the fact, so I can give a little bit of a voiceover and some context as to what happened throughout the weekend. That first day, I was definitely full of a ton of nerves. So it was a Thursday afternoon that I took the train up to Boston, Cambridge specifically, and it was just such a surreal experience because I've been around the city a bunch of times. I mean, I was literally just there for a couple other visits, but MIT has always sort of been this unknown kind of entity. And the fact that I was about to experience the campus as a prospective student, was really, really cool. So the train ride was pretty short, about an hour or so, and then just took the red line on the subway up to Cambridge. And it was around, I think like 5 p.m. when I got there. So definitely a bit later in the day, I went right to the hotel, which was this cute little boutique style place that was right in the middle of Kendall Square. I had maybe an hour or so of downtime, and then we went right off to our first event. This is something that MIT did that none of the other schools did, where they had us just with the first year grad students for that first night. So we broke off into smaller groups, and every perspective or incoming student student had a grad student buddy. So this was a first year grad student that we were kind of like assigned to randomly. And then we were able to meet this buddy in the lobby of the hotel and then head off to dinner with them and a few of the other like prospective student grad student buddies. My group, we went to a really cool little pizza spot called Area 4, again, right in Kendall Square. We had the most delicious pizzas. We just ordered a bunch for the table and sat and chatted for a while. I really, really liked this experience of the first night being like with a smaller group because it was a bit less overwhelming and I felt like I was able to form a really strong foundation with a few people, a few friends. After eating a few too many slices of pizza, we decided to walk around campus a little bit. Even though it was dark out, it was pretty cool to walk around and see the different buildings and spaces. But this didn't last too long because we actually walked over to the chemical engineering building, which is this really cool triangular shaped building and they had a little board game slash game night set up for incoming and first year grad students. It was just a perfect way to kick off the weekend and I was definitely a lot more calm after that night. The hotel had this really nice breakfast set up so in the morning of that first full day, all of the prospective students kind of got together and we sat at this giant dining table with our breakfast and coffee and just sat around and chatted for a little while. And then around 8.30, 8.45, we met up with a few current grad students that walked us on over back to that chemical engineering building because we had some morning programming where different faculty and staff members of the chemi department went over different program requirements, the classes, all the logistical kind of things that happen during your PhD. So about an hour or two of that first morning was taken up by just sitting and listening to the program and just taking it all in. That first year schedule is definitely a bit crazy with all the classes and advisor selection and figuring out what lab you're gonna be in, all of that. But again, it's just, it's cool to take in all this information. This next part of the day from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., they had left basically open for us to meet with faculty. I scheduled a crap ton of meetings, I think like five in total. So unfortunately, and as I'm sure you could probably understand, 
I didn't film really any of this. Um, it was just a lot of walking back and forth to different buildings where these faculty members have their offices. I would go, I chat with them for about 20 minutes and then head off either to another meeting or to kind of a general all-purpose room that they had set up for us in the chemical engineering building with snacks and drinks. And that just acted as like our home base sort of deal when we didn't have any meetings to go to. So I had a couple in the morning and then midday they had a catered lunch for us, which was delicious. I had like salmon and there were a bunch of other side plates and dishes. It was really, really good. After lunch, I had just a couple more meetings at this point, my brain was starting to get fried. I actually ended up going to grab some merch with a few of the friends that I had made. So that was really fun. We, we walked across campus. We made the trek over and went and got a few pieces of merch, this sweatshirt included. That night, we took a bus over to Legal Harborside, which is this amazing seafood place over in the Seaport District of Boston. We were on one of the upper floors, which I think is like their event space, and it was a fully catered kind of thing every grad student had told all the perspectives like this place is gonna have the best lobster rolls ever and it's all you can eat like it's all catered so they were like our biggest regret is not eating enough at this dinner so we all went in with a mission to eat as many lobster rolls as possible and just experience all of the food that this place had to offer us so i got like the best couple of lobster rolls ever along with some other seafood and other plates and dishes and it was just so delicious on top of that a lot of the professors and faculty were there as well so this was an event that was only open to the group of prospective students and faculty members so there were no other grad students. This was kind of our chance to talk more with faculty members that we either met with earlier in the day or that we hadn't yet spoken to. The whole thing went by way too fast and it was definitely a moment where I had to take a step back and think to myself like, wow, look at, look at where I am. This is absolutely beautiful and incredible. So whereas that Friday was a faculty heavy kind of program detail oriented day, the next day was all about the grad students. So we spent this whole day with the current grad students, kicking it off with some tours of campus and labs and facilities. Now, I don't have any footage. I was not able to film in the lab areas. So you just have to take my word that I toured a bunch of the different labs that were more bio-focused because that's what I'm a bit more interested in when it comes to chemical engineering research. We also took just a general tour of campus, a few of the current first year PhD students actually took small groups of us around, which was really nice because they showed us the places that we really needed to know. Because when you take a tour of MIT as an undergrad, you're definitely gonna be more interested in places that as a grad student, you, you don't really care about. So this was really cool. We hit up a place called the Banana Lounge, which is literally just a room full of boxes of bananas that is constantly stocked with these like fresh, almost cartoon looking bananas. They're like perfect. It is so random, but it, it fits MIT so well, trust me. We walked all around campus. We saw the athletic facilities, which was honestly really cool because when I was a junior, kind of pursuing MIT as a potential place for my undergrad, I went and did a soccer clinic there. So I have a picture of myself underneath this giant archway that leads into their stadium area. On a similar note, we went by the famous dome that is kind of an icon of MIT. And again, on this soccer visit thing that I did when I was in high school, I got a bunch of pictures of myself in front of the dome. Now, obviously I didn't end up there for undergrad, but it's just really cool to get another picture in front of the dome, like five or six years later, five or six years older, as an incoming prospective student, like crazy. It was also just such a perfect day to have a tour of campus. It made me so excited to see how many people were out running around. Now, when this video goes live, the Boston Marathon would have already happened, but this was a few weeks before the Boston Marathon, so it was cool to see. You could definitely tell like who was training for those races. This was Saturday morning after all, so I bet a bunch of people were out on their long runs, and MIT is situated right on the Charles River, which just provides like the best running atmosphere and landscape ever, so that was really cool to see. Because we hadn't walked around enough, we decided as a group of, again, first year grad students and prospective students to head on over to a local coffee shop in Kendall Square called Vester. And I feel like this is your stereotypical, like cutesy little aesthetic coffee shop 
right in Cambridge. I wasn't actually feeling coffee, which I know is crazy. I'm always feeling coffee, but I still wanted something like a hot drink to hold. So we got a really delicious kind of tea. And this was perfect because we then took the subway on over to Boston Common to go on a Freedom Trail tour. Now, Boston is an extremely historic city. A lot to see there, a lot to do there. And I think the Freedom Trail tour is a really cool way to experience some of that history. Last up on our grad student focused day was a little social hour at a bar kind of pool hall place called Flat Top Johnny's. This was just the perfect way to end off such a crazy day. It was loud in there, the atmosphere was great. And something that really hit home for me was how many current grad students were there. It wasn't just the first years, it was like everybody. I met some fifth years, fourth, third. I got to talk to everyone. My social battery was definitely getting drained at this point, but I stayed as long as I possibly could. And then it was finally time for me to tap out around like 10, 30, 11 PM. I was just, I was done. I was toast, but it was such a perfect day. Now, normally this would be kind of video over because a lot of my grad weekends were just like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but MIT actually did a special little thing on Sunday morning where they invited women and non-binary individuals to attend a little faculty prospective student brunch. So a bunch of us walked on over to this beautiful brunch spot called Bat Batiful. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you see it here on screen. Don't have any footage other than that outside portion of the restaurant. But take my word for it, it was such a beautiful, beautiful spot. Before I knew it, I was back at South Station and back on my way home. I know I didn't have a ton to show and share in this vlog, but stay tuned because now comes the fun part of me getting to announce where I'm gonna end up. Never in a million years did I think I would be a prospective MIT student. Like, prospective MIT PhD student. That just sounds absolutely crazy. But here we are. If you like this video and you haven't seen my other visit vlogs, go check them out because I think they're really cool. And as an undergrad, I really didn't know what grad visits looked like until I went on one. So if you're at all curious to see what those experiences were like at the other schools, please go and give them a watch. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, because you don't want to miss my announcement of where I'm actually going to end up. I love you all very much. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>